Hey everybody, today we're going to read a story called The Rabbit Listened. We read this during Read Across America Week in a couple of classes, and it's a very sweet story about a little boy who's learning how to overcome some unexpected things. And I guess we're all doing that these days, so maybe it will be helpful to us. The Rabbit Listened. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new, something special. He's really thinking about it, isn't he? Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. See how he stands with his hands on his hips? His eyes are wide open. He is so proud his very tall tower. But then, out of nowhere, how does he feel now? Things came crashing down. All of his pieces were now on the ground. Look at Taylor. Is he sad? Look at his eyebrows. How I'm standing. Oh no, poor Taylor. The chicken was the first to notice. Is the chicken surprised? Cluck, cluck! What a shame! I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. That's a big bear. I'm not sure that Taylor wants to talk to the bear either. He looks kind of frightened. Maybe he's a nice bear. Grr, rawr, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grr, rawr, rawr, rawr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trump da da I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. Hmm. His tail is in the air and his trunk too. Look at him. Poor Taylor, again alone. One by one they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, gulp, let's hide and pretend that nothing happened. The kangaroo, tisk tisk, what a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's, let's go knock down someone else's. Oh, we would never do that, would we? Mm, not at McDowell. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually, they all left until Taylor was all alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. And see how the little rabbit is just sitting right next to Taylor quietly? I bet he is soft and warm. Together they sat in silence until Taylor said, Please stay with me. And the rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. The rabbit is a very good listener, isn't he? 
through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. And Taylor dreamed again after having his listening friend to be there with him. Sometimes that's all we can do is listen. It's a good lesson for us all.